So here's a tour of my comic book room. Ooh, got a little bit of bright light coming through that window. I've got these shelving that my wife convinced to keep when we started remodeling. What I did was I sold all my action figures. And I started using that money to buy these Randy Bowen minibus. Put these Randy Bowen minibus on the shelf and put a comic book behind it. So let's look at what we've got here. Um, Randy Bowen minibus to the black suit. So what's behind it? Yes, the rumors are true. This is the first appearance of the black suit. Got a classic Spider-Man behind it. That often homaged Todd McFarlane cover. I really like this Randy Bowen Hulk minibus. Need to get a better comic book behind it though. I'm gonna have to go through my box and see if I can find a better Hulk, but that's the one that's behind it right now. I would really love to have an Iron Man number one raw copy, because a raw copy would fit in the shelving behind this classic Iron Man mini bust. Would love to have an Submariner number one raw to fit behind this instead of this reprint. I really love this Randy Bowen mini bust of Thor, and I like that comic behind it. I don't have a first appearance of Tigra. I really love this mini bust. I just love it. So that's the comic I decided to put behind it. One day I may have a first appearance of Yellow Jacket. To put by that behind this mini bust. Same with Black Knight. Love to have a first appearance of him. Put it behind this Randy Bowen mini bust. Got on eBay and got me a first appearance of Gladiator. Now, not my most favorite cover of Gladiator, that first appearance. My favorite cover is. Fantastic Four 249. I really love that cover by John Byrne. Um, I bought this Black Panther years and years ago because I was such a fan of Jack Kirby art. I think at the time it was, you know, in some back bins, wasn't worth very much. I think I paid 30 cents for it, which was what it was originally, 30 cents. I want to change out this mini bust on this. I like this one, but I like the completely black suit better. So I think I may put this one on eBay, sell it, and use that money to buy the black suit. Got a She-Hulk number one with a She-Hulk mini bust. Now these two are Gentle Giant mini busts. Um, I didn't like the Randy Bowen minibus of the Black Widow or Hawkeye. So I went with the Gentle Giant. Gentle Giant is much better, but the size of them are a little bit bigger than the regular minibus by Randy Bowen. So I have to put these two together just for perspective purposes. I really like the fact that these arrows actually come out. Um, bought this one, the um, Hawkeye off of eBay. When I got it, it was actually broke. So what I did was I glued it back together and fixed it, did a little touch-up paint. Looks great. Also like the uh, Black Widow one much better than the Randy Bowen one, so went ahead and bought that one off of eBay as well. Got these two together for obvious reasons. Would love to have a first appearance of Vision raw copy to put behind there. Now, when I first started collecting these Randy Bowen minibus, they were relatively cheap. Um, this Vision minibus, I think I bought for $20. I don't think you can probably get one for $20. And the latest one is this Chrome edition of Ultron. It ended up costing me over $100. These two I decided to put together. One day I'll have a first appearance of Falcon I'll put behind it. But right now I got that beautiful Jack Kirby art behind each one of those. 
always enjoyed Machine Man. I always liked that character for some reason. Um, so I got on eBay, started looking for a first appearance, got it, and put it behind my minibus back there. Now the Iron Man 2020 came in packs of three. I had three Iron Man in one and three Iron Man in another one. And since I had a first appearance already of Iron Man 2020, and he appeared in the Machine Man comic, I decided to put these two beside each other. Um, just a little area where I've got stuff. Friend of mine bought this signed Wolverine by Hugh Jackman. And one of my few action figures beside it. Got some placeholder stuff here until I figure out what I'm going to put in these spots. And now I'm to the shelving that's incomplete. Got me a Doctor Doom mini bust. It's got a little flaw on it. So we can see if we can see that. Kind of the reason he's up there on the top shelf if you don't see it. I haven't decided to touch that up yet. Now these Fantastic Four figures, they came in a pack of three. And again, I got them, I think, pretty cheap at the time. I think they were below $80 for the three. And then the Ben Grimm came in separate. And then I decided, hey, which ones am I going to put in the back back there? So these are on my want list. Since I've got a first appearance of Nova, original copy that I bought myself, and then the first appearance of Terax that I got off of eBay. I need two Randy Bowen minibus to put right there. The Terax looks really good. Last time I checked, it was around $120. And I can't remember the price on the um, Nova, but I'm gonna get two, those two, put those in that spot. Um, Got a first appearance of Vindicator or Weapon Alpha or Guardian, whichever name he wants to go by. That's really my next mini bus I'm gonna buy, but it's a more rare one and it's pretty expensive, so I gotta save up for that one. I'd like to put a Wolverine beside him, but I'm not sure what cover or what comic to put behind him, so right now that's just a placeholder. I did buy me a Sasquatch minibus that's a gentle giant I didn't like the Randy Bowen one as much and beside it I'm either going to get a puck minibus or a marina minibus one or the other since Alpha Flight number one is their first appearance uh, placeholder here again these are some action figures I had didn't get rid of I really like these two action figures so I decided to put those in that spot right there I realize that's just a Spider-Man bank, but I'm going to put some Randy Bowen mini bus here, put a rogue one in front of her first appearance, and probably put a Miss Marvel in front of that one, even though that's not her first appearance. Still like that comic. Um, some action figures I still have. These, another couple boxes of comics with some pictures behind it and then I got this shelving I just got placeholders in there until I figure out what I'm gonna put in there and then I've got my Iron Man section that you've already seen now these Iron Man mini bus they came in like I said packs of three and I think I got those at the time they again they were pretty cheap off of eBay I think they were below $80 for the three and then I got a PVC little statue back there. That one was only $30, $40, I think. Got some tins. And then my little Captain America area. Got some comics up there. Got something one of my friends gave me again. Decided to put that up on the wall. Picture from Hobby Lobby. Now, I put this years ago there, this Tales of Suspense comic, not realizing it was the first appearance of MODOK. The reason I put it there was my oldest quote-unquote 
comic that Captain America appeared in, so I decided to put that one on the wall. Plus, I love that Jack Kirby art. And then I've got a Randy Bowen full statue there. Oh, at the time, that was the uh, most expensive statue I bought. But even at that time, I, it was expensive, but it was still less than $200. I think I bought this one for $160. So that was during a time when they were still cheap. Got my work area. Got a drawer full of bags and boards getting ready. My rack is ready. It's going to go through a new long box of comics of that 17 long boxes that I bought. See what I can sell on eBay. Beautiful George Perez, Alex Ross poster, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Love that poster. And then I've got my plastic bins of comics right there. Got my work area and my decoupage boxes. Of course, this is Iron Man, you can tell. Alpha Flight, it's a box of Spider-Man. Another long box of Spider-Man. We've got a long box of Fantastic Four, long box of Captain America, and two long boxes of Avengers. Well, there you go. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around the comic rack.